Hey everybody, one of Weezum here. Exactly 5.45 a.m. I am pretty tired. I am also very excited because I just introduced Night Shift and this is quite possibly the most impressive introduction uh, preview of a character I've ever seen. Fairly low health, uh, trigger happiest type situation, but incredibly impressive uh, upgrades in the repertoire there. So uh, if you're thinking, hey, how could that get any better? Uh, just watch that. This is basically going to be the same video, uh, just with a different character. I'll try to maintain that same enthusiasm. But uh, Legendary Night Shift, he'll be going on the portal here in a second. Legendary Night Shift, of course, here in the U.S. is a Toys R Us exclusive. Uh, Toys R Us, basically a dollar more. That said, they've been having that buy one, get one 40% sale pretty much every week. And uh, props to them for that. Their stock really hasn't slipped. Uh, in my area, uh, Toys R Us, it's pretty hard to find Light Course Molder Dash. Um, I've never seen many of her, you know, for what it's worth. Uh, the legendaries, there's been times they would dissipate. They tend to come back fairly quickly. i got to give them credit for that. And uh, really, I mean, outside of like Fire Kraken, Boom Jet, Night Shift, girl, basically the Wave 2 swappers, uh, sometimes low or hard to come by. Uh, pretty pretty good pickings right now so uh, what I'm gonna do I'm actually gonna back out of here because I want you to see night shift you can get a good look at him there uh, right above his health uh, it is dark in Woodboro we've completed chapter 5 um, that's what he looks like you get a feel for the gray the black the red and what I'm gonna do now is actually pull night shift we're going to drop for the first, well, I th guess I've used him in battle mode with my nephew, I think, but Legendary Night Shift going on the portal. Really his first appearance in uh, story. As you can see, Legendary Night Shift special, and he looks different. Uh, you can see that in the character there. You can see it very clearly, uh, the character on the screen. So, uh, level 1 still 44 coins. Basically, I think from battle mode, but uh, this is what he looks like when he jumps. Just goes straight up, nothing too crazy, no flips, no somersaults. Uh, going to come in now, primary attack. It's going to be the one-two punch. 24s, you saw the 36 there. Secondary attack doesn't do damage, but you turn into mist and you teleport, and you do it insanely fast. You can use it to, one, evade things. You can do it, two, to set up sneak attacks. It is pretty awesome, and it's box stock, and it's just going to get better from there. Now, uh, before I get too wrapped up here, let's go ahead, pause, come in to collection. We want to go to Spyro's head, to the Undead Elemental logo, slide over here to Legendary Night Shift, uh, roll with the punches, that's going to be his slogan. Uh, as you can see there, Legendary Night Shift Special, just like you saw on the screen. Let's read this bio. Uh, sadly, it's not the legendary picture here, but you get the drift. Roll with the punches. Night Shift, of course, Undead Element Skylander Teleportation Ability. From high up in the gloomy Bat Crypt Mountains, Night Shift was a full-fledged baron and heir to a great fortune. But one day he decided to leave it all behind to pursue his dream as a prize fighter. It wasn't long before Night Shift became the undefeated Phantomweight Champion of Skylands, famous for his massive uppercut and for having once bitten an opponent in the ring. Unfortunately, a rule change made teleportation illegal and Night Shift was forced to give up his belt, officially ending his career as a boxer. Crestfallen over being disqualified from a sport he loved so dearly, his spirits picked up when he was sought out by Master Eon who told him that his skill as a fighter could be put to great use as a member of the Skylander. So, pretty cool story here. Uh, doesn't have like any trolls, greebles, cyclops things going on. He just... Had it made, had the inheritance sitting there, wasn't happy with the money, went to do what he loved, which is boxing. Uh, kind of did a uh, Tyson Holyfield thing there when he bit someone. And uh, then followed that up. Teleportation was outlawed, uh, probably because he was cleaning the house. There was some politics behind the scenes that they didn't talk about here. And, uh, you know, you could see chaos in the stands maybe there, you know, when he fell in love with a roller brawl or something along those lines. Maybe she was out there with her brothers checking out a night shift title bout. Uh, that's a pretty cool story. And now we're going to back out of here. 
Alright, what we want to do now is actually come into Skylander, go to stats. I had to yawn, it's not because of a lack of excitement, it's just it's six in the morning basically. So uh, bear with and I, it's not because I'm up early, it's because I haven't gone to bed yet. So uh, this is pretty late even for me. That said, this is some awesome stuff here in Night Shift. Now, max health two hundred really low there, however, yeah, his his upgrades are awesome. Who really cares? Plus, that's the box stock. You have to realize he can go to level 20, so it's going to bump up significantly. Speed 35, not the fastest thing, but turning into mist and teleporting, by gosh, he's pretty quick. Armor 4, that's really low. Critical hit 8, uh, elemental power 25. It's 49 now, 10 of that being for the elemental daily bonus thing. Um, again, my complaints... He's legendary, but he has the same stats as Night Shift. Hopefully, somehow, later on, that changes. I don't know how that would happen, but I'll uh, keep that in mind. Now, uh, check him out there in the screen. That's pretty accurate, I have to say. I mean, it's not like the super light blue. That's the dark legendary blue. It's got the gold. Uh, one of the upgrades we're going to cover... Um, I think payday is when the gloves turn gold. So we'll kind of monitor these as we upgrade them. And then in payday, they may just stay like that. So if you are particular about colors, you might want to take legendary down champion fighter and then take standard night shift down proper vampire. Speaking of that, here's the upgrades. Everything I talk about is going to be the top half until I tell you otherwise. So night the top half, the arms, the head, whatever you need to call it, just no top half. What he's got right now, 1-2 punch deals 24 and 36 damage respectively. Uh, 36, you know, kind of coming from time to time. Press Y to punch nearby enemies with enormous boxing gloves. It looks really cool and it's effective. First purchased upgrade is his tertiary attack, Vampire's Bite. Press X to bite enemies and regain some health. So not only are you getting your tertiary right off the bat? You're biting enemies, which is going to deal damage. You get health back. It's I mean, three really cool things, two of those being really useful. Now, uh, second purchased upgrade before path, sting like a bat. Punching does increase damage. Give them the old one-two combo. My gamepad battery is low. I'm going to try to speed this up. Uh, <laughs> don't move, just stick. Hold Y to charge a punch. Release to deal a massive uppercut to enemies. Uh, the uppercut, I've seen at E3. Pretty dadgum cool. Now you get to the point you have to pick a path. This top one is called Proper Vampire Path. Begins with Infectious Smile. Vampire Bite deals damage over time to its targets. That's a pretty interesting concept. It's followed up with Healthy Appetite. Vampire's Bite... Hmm. I think what's bothering me is that should be Possessive. That's probably the first time when we introduced Night Shift, I had a really hard time reading this. I kept wanting to say Vampire Bites Deal, uh, but it's Vampire's Bites Deals. I feel like that should be possessive and it would help. Uh, anyway, no one probably cares. Vampire's Bite deals more damage with extra healing. Pack on the pounds. Ridiculous. You go this path, you deal damage, and you get health. And if you're thinking, oh, that's a no-brainer, wait. Champion Fighter, the bottom path here, begins with Prize Fighter. Hold Y to charge a punch, release to do an uppercut that causes enemies that are hit to take damage and drop money. But wait, there's more. Payday. Prize Fighter gives more money. Don't spend it all in place like Mo Money and Mo Problems did. Number one, that's punny. Number two, it's epic. You can take Proper Vampire to gain more health over, you know primary upgrade that you already have, uh, first one being the tertiary, or you can take champion fighter path to make money. You're dealing damage and you're either regaining more health or you're making more money. Uh, this is like a first of a first and it's 
fantastic. Even though I'm deadbeat tired at 6 in the morning, it's still pretty dadgum cool. Now, the Soul Gym. After all that, you still have a Soul Gym up top. It is called Gentlemanly. All attacks do increase damage. Why would we just do the primary of the tertiary and we could just make everything do more damage? Uh, that's fantastic. Uh, at full health, granted, so you'll have to be at full health, but still. Uh, quite sporting of the enemies to miss so often, yes, quite. Like I said, he's super cool, he's unique, and he's got some serious swagger going on. Gonna back out now. Everything we're gonna talk about now is going to be for the bottom end of night shift. The end with the skull, the end with the logo, the base, the lower end, the legs, the mist, shift, whatever you need to call it, bottom end. Alright, we've got ethereal shift right now. Uh, it's just basically turns into mist and teleports. It's pretty awesome and it's fast. First purchased upgrade for the bottom end, float like a vampire. Uh, sting like a bat, apparently. Uh, press A to teleport and shoot out a projectile that damages nearby enemies. That's followed up with foggy movement. Speed is increased, epic, become faster than an old foggy. The fact that they mentioned foggy and you're getting faster, winning X2 right there. Now, this right here, uh, first time ever in the Skylands I've seen this. It's not, you know, regain health or anything like that. It's don't die. You you died, but you didn't. Uh, that's what a baddie coach is, essentially. Uh, if you've seen anything I do, I mean, this is why I got excited about Jetvac. Uh, I go for the unique, the never-before-seen disqualifies as that. It's called a baddie coach, and it's not tied in with an upgrade path. It's just here for the taking on the bottom end. A bat ally prevents being defeated one time. What a great pep talk. It sure is. We'll have to investigate, see if you get like 5 health, 10 health, you know, 20 seconds, full health back. Nonetheless, you should be dead and you're not. That'll help out big time with dares, so keep that in mind. Now, you get to a point, you've got those three upgrades on the bottom end, you have to pick a path. Uh, first one here is called the Warping Vortex Path. It begins Vortex of Doom. Press A to teleport and create a large vortex that pulls in enemies. Awesome. It's followed up with Close to Doom. Vortex of Doom now deals damages to enemies. Doom. Again, really couldn't go wrong there. However, you've got a tough decision. This other path is called the Underbat Path. Round 2. A batty coach now gives a health boost when returning from defeat. Get back in there. Again, whether that's full health plus 40, or, you know, you have 10 back, and then now he's giving you 20. We'll have to investigate it, but nonetheless, it's cool. It's never before seen. It's a must-have. That is followed up with luck of the underbat. A batty coach can be used twice. So, come in die, but you don't. Come back, you get a health boost. Die again, and you're going to come back from the dead and get a health boost again. It's ridiculous. Uh, again, if you're having trouble, go with Night Shift. Uh, if that wasn't enough, Warping Vortex and Underbats, you've got the Soul Gym here. It is called Grand Entrance. Slows down nearby enemies when appearing after a teleport, thus making them easier to kill with whatever you want to do. And if you should happen to die, you can come back from the death twice. So, uh, really, really cool stuff here. Gonna back out now. We're actually gonna take a look at this quest. Pretty much generic, these first six defeat a thousand enemies. Eat 15 pieces of fruit, don't take damage in outside story mode, uh, win 10 PvP. I like totally maxed out if you hate Night Shift for some reason, I don't know how that would be possible. I guess some people might. Uh, this encourages you to actually explore it and then make sure you still don't like him after you've done a baddie coach and all the upgrade paths and soul gems. This one here, Elementalist, costs 7,500 elemental bonus damage. These are the big three now, these back two and the personal one. Uh, Witherer, defeat a total of 25 life spell punks. Main thing, just remember to put him on when you want to, uh, or when you see a life spell punk. Then back from the brink, defeat a boss while at critically low health. You basically have three chances to do that here with uh, Night Shift. 
die, you know, first time dying back, dying back. So he is the ideal character for this one. Now his personal quest though is called King of the Ring. Hit ten enemies at once with your giant uppercut punch. Main thing here, you just gotta find an area with a populace of enemies and then just go to town on it. Um, that said, we're gonna back out pretty much it again I've got this red light glowing at me so I'm gonna try to wrap this up fairly quick for you um, super stoked about night shift uh, and I'm excited there's legendary night shift here so we can explore both paths on the top and the bottom um, my big deal with Jetvac in Giants, he had stuff that we'd never had in Skylands before. Got quite a bit of that here in Swap Force. Teleportation alone is enough. But just the base upgrades and kind of what they're doing with Night Shift, really, really interesting stuff here. So I'm excited about that. That said, thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe. That'll keep you up with all the latest. You can follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, circle me on Google+, whichever you prefer. It is 6.01 a.m. I am right on time to basically get to bed at an insanely late time. Uh, before I do that, though, I'm going to try to outlast this gamepad and actually come in and uh, pick up the cash and everything here. So I'll do that. Wish me luck there. As of right now, uh, this is like introduction number 24-ish, I think. We've covered all the starter pack characters, um, you know, their respective counterparts like Standard Slobbertooth, you know, uh, Standard Lava Barf Eruptor, etc. And, most importantly, all of the currently released Swap Force you know, swapper characters, if you will. So now what we'll do, I'll probably come in uh, next introductions, probably either going to be uh, Legendary Lightcore Grim Creeper or Legendary Zulu, and uh, then we'll take it from there. So uh, we'll come in, I'll take care of those guys. Then I, the plan is to do the new characters. However, uh, Knockout Terrafin may get in there, not because he's one of my favorites, but simply because he was in a battle pack. Uh, when I introduce Popthorn, I'll go ahead and we'll do like the Battle Hammer and the Diamond and everything and, you know, check that stuff out. So, uh, past that though, the plan will be to, you know, do Legendaries, do the Special Ones, maybe even the Light Cores first, and then just knock out the new characters, knock out the Series 2, knock out the Series 3. So, stay tuned for that. Again, thank you for watching. Uh, really excited about Night Shift here. But uh, I'll quit rambling. Uh, Going to try to get some cash here and then get to bed. So uh, again, I will catch you back here as I continue the introductions. And uh, then coming up shortly, uh, possibly even this weekend, I'll get back into uh, Iron Jaw Gulch. So excited about that as well. Again, thanks for watching, and I will catch you back here next time.